hello youtube and welcome to another linux tutorial so in this video i will show you just some tips and tricks how to use the echo command in linux so are you ready let's get started okay so in this video i will just show you just uh, an example on how you can use the echo command so normally the echo command is used in order to display something in the standard output which is here our terminal so for example i can just type echo hello word for example so this will display just this uh, phrase here hello world but most of the time we use hello or echo command in order to direct input to another file or in order to create a file so for example let's say that we want to create a file called readme so i will echo for example the text that i want to insert into this file so for example please read me okay so this is the text that i want to insert into a new file and i will be using here the greater sign okay then i can type the name of the file that i want to create so let's for example create a file called readme okay so this simple actually line of code will create a file called readme and inside it will find a text please read me okay so let's execute that here we go so now the file readme has been created you can see it if you do list okay so as you can see here the file readme has been created so let's cut it in order to see what is inside so i will use the cat command and the name of the file which is readme here we go okay but what happened if you want to insert more text into this file so it may come to your mind that you can just simple type echo and the text that you want to insert in that file which is for example my name is Amina okay so I will redirect this text to the same file always was with using the greater sign here and my file name okay okay so I have no error so you may think that you will find this time into your file two lines the first one which is hello world and the second line which is my name is amin sorry the first uh, yes the first line is please read me not hello world okay but this is false as you can see here so let's cut again the readme file in order to see what is inside and you'll notice it exists only one line is the last echo that we have used so how can we deal with this problem okay so i will show you how okay so remember now our readme file contains this one line of code which is my name is amina okay so if you want to add another line to this file we can use also the echo command for example let's add something like uh, please read me okay and i will use here the greater sign and the text or the file name which is read me but if you execute this command you will simply actually replace what is inside this readme file so let's verify that so now our file will just contains a line called please read me okay so let's execute the cat command 
here we go we have only one line of code so how can we add another line so you can do that simply by using the same echo command but instead of using just one greater sign you can use double actually greater sign like this okay so with this two greater signs you can append text to your existing file so let's verify that here we go and let's cut another time our file read me et voila as you can see we have successfully appended another text to our file we can add whatever we want now so for example today the weather is beautiful today the weather is awesome if you want so we append this time another third line to our file so let's cut our readme file here we go so now our file contains just three lines so remember if you use one single greater sign you will actually replace what is in the file and if you are using double greater sign you will append what is in your echo to the end of the file okay so that was just a simple trick that you can use in order to use the echo command in order to create file in the Linux command line. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.